Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen March from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. So guys, uh, while I was filming from my uh, guest room this morning, is this tree right here. And you can see the base of it is slightly angled. And then you see as we go up, it's angled more. And I was worried it was, it looked like it was like 20 feet from, okay, this is my balcony here on the right, second level. Because I start out downstairs and you go upstairs and then Connie, my neighbor's at the Connie's tree house at the beach, woohoo. And then we have other neighbors uh, next door and then uh, uh, another gentleman up there. So this tree, when I was on the second floor with the wind this morning, it looked like, I said, this, this is it. This is the one that's gonna fall. And I didn't even realize it was this big of a tree. And uh, now we got this giant pine tree here. We used to have 40, let me think. Yeah, you know, I said the number's wrong. We used to have 40 trees back here. Now we're down to 26. That's what it was. I said we were down to 36, that was wrong. But, um, and then if you look at this tree right here, we lost so many trees from Hurricane Matthew last year. But luckily, this was a uh, Hurricane Irma drop down to a tropical storm for Hilton Head. Uh, some neighbors of mine did have like three feet of water in their yard. They sent me a picture of an alligator. That was Jim and Carol. And um, so if you're down by Broad Creek or on the Calabogie Sound or the ocean, uh, it hit right at uh, high tide. So that's where we are. But anyway, so I feel very grateful uh, that this tree is still standing. Um, but you see how much it's leaning. So I don't know what the rule is from a arborist there's a word you never get to use that you know the roots deep enough that it will keep it and uh we got this lovely palm, palm tree right here all right guys well we're signing off live and i'm um, going in to see freedom the parrot and let's look really fast i wonder if this is an owl i mean i might be seeing things hang on could be a tree stump maybe it's yeah it's just part of the tree i guess i'm, I'm blind as a bat uh, without my glasses so all right, well, we're super grateful, and like I said, we didn't evacuate because it was so up in the air about what to do. Oh, but I do want to mention one thing. Across the street, uh, there is a big, a dead tree is called a snag, and it did fall, um, and the osprey used to love it, and I saw one in there the other day, so that big tree did fall, but it was dead, so there we go. All right, guys, we're signing off. It's Karen Martz at Treetops. Have a great day.